I have a question for you. What do you think has more vitamin A? Three ounces of beef liver or 40 pounds of raw carrots? Well, if you guessed beef liver, you are correct. Now, it is true that raw carrots have a lot of pre-vitamin A, okay, called beta carotene, but the active form of vitamin A is retinol. And unfortunately, they don't differentiate between the pre-vitamin A and the active form of vitamin A, which is retinol. If you look up the databases on this in all these different studies, they kind of mix up the different foods. They'll have like beef liver, and then it might have carrots or potatoes. And so it's really hard to understand this. What you have to realize is that beta carotene has to convert into retinol. And the percentage of conversion is not very high, like 3%, right? Recently, I had a genetic test to look at my genes to see if there's any mutations or problems genetically that I have. And there were several things, but one thing that was interesting, I have a problem with this gene right here, BCO1, which happens to be in charge of converting beta carotene into retinol. In fact, I just recently learned that my conversion is like even 48% less than 3%. So I'm getting like 1.5% conversions. Now that could be a problem if I was eating in a different way, but it's not a problem, but it could be because the solution to this problem right here, as well as this problem right here, is to make sure you get the animal sources of retinol because the beta carotene sources are gonna be plant-based and this is gonna be animal-based. The best source of retinol would be beef liver, cod liver, cod liver oil, egg yolk, butter. And there's nothing wrong with beta carotene. It's a, it's a great nutrient, but if you're trying to get your vitamin A from uh, beta carotene, good luck. Now, since we're on the topic of carrots, I think we should talk about are carrots okay to consume if you're doing the ketogenic diet? Well, for that information, I created this short video right here. Check it out. All right, we're going to compare carrots to carrot juice right here. Now, both have roughly the same amount of carbohydrate, okay? But the hormone effect is very, very different. When you eat carrots, you're not going to stimulate insulin too much, okay? You're not going to have a huge blood sugar issue like you would with carrot juice. And why is that? Simply because of the net carbs over here. So carrots have 17.4 grams of carbs, but they have 10.2 grams of fiber, so what do we get to do? We get to deduct the fiber from the total carbohydrates, bringing this down to only two teaspoons of sugar. Now, the question is, how much fiber does carrot juice have? Well, it only has one gram. So if we deduct the 17.4 grams of carbohydrates from the one gram, that leaves us with 16.4 grams, which is slightly more than four teaspoons of sugar, more than double the sugar. So even though carrots are high on the glycemic index, because of the massive amount of fiber, this sugar becomes much less of a problem. In fact, they call that the glycemic load. We're basically factoring in all this fiber, reducing the sugar effect. So carrots are definitely okay to eat on keto. Carrot juice is a big fat no. Now, another interesting thing about carrot juice, if you look on the label, it says 180% the daily value of vitamin A, okay? Well, what they don't tell you is that's not actually vitamin A. Yes, legally it is vitamin A, but in reality, it's just beta carotene. It has to convert to retinol, which is the active form of vitamin A. And because of the majority of population does not convert well, you'd be lucky to convert even 3% of this to real vitamin A. So if you're trying to get your real vitamin A from carrots, uh, don't hold your breath. Now, another interesting thing about this carrot juice, if you see, it says 13 servings of veggies in this whole bottle right here. So apparently in uh, my plate, which is the USDA recommendations for veggies, you can actually drink your vegetables. So according to this, it says daily recommendations, two and a half cups equals five servings 
of a variety of vegetables. So you can drink two and a half of these to get your five servings of vegetables. But what they don't tell you is this sugar thing right here. There's a lot of sugar in juice, but there's a lot of fiber and less sugar in actual carrots. Since we're talking about the fiber effect of insulin, if you haven't seen this video, check it out. I put it up right here.